What's going on guys? This is Chris back with another video. Hey, I'm excited for this one. So this has been a long time coming. You know when you're in the store, the fishing store, specifically Bass Pro Shop, and you spot a lure and you're like, man, that looks good. That looks wild and unique. That's what me and Joshy Poo did not too long ago. Actually, a really long time ago. And we've been meaning to use them, catch some fish on them. We got the kayaks out, got the trucks, decided to visit a lake that we haven't fished in quite some time. Last time we were out here, Josh actually nailed, I believe a five pound bass. So we're gonna go see if we can get on them today. I don't even know if I'm gonna catch a fish. I brought a little backup just in case. Let's get on the lake. Man, it is hot out here today, guys. You have no idea. We are on full summer in Florida. Man, guys, I just sliced my finger open. Check that out. Thing looks pretty bad. I just cut my finger open pretty good. What? <clears throat> Guys, this proves that I am not the bad luck. I mean, I guess you could consider me the bad luck since I'm with you. Josh just broke a guide off his rod. At least that can be fixed. Oh my god, guys, I legit just thought a spider was crawling on the kayak. I saw these little, these little, th oh man, it almost scared me again. I'm so stupid. Look at that stupid thing. All right, guys, so I'm sure by the title of this video, you already know what we're going to be fishing with today. But check it out. We got one of the live target mouse little rats. It's actually the smaller version. Went ahead, rigged it up on one of my bait casting rods, loose speed spool on a PC Fun serpent rod. I got a loop knot tied on there just for a little bit extra action. This is a topwater bait, so I'm going to be very, very intrigued to know how to work it. I mean, I guess you walk the dog kind of like a frog. Not too sure. I had one of these as a teenager. I had a buddy that used it, Matt. Shout out to Matt. OG followers would know him. And he liked it, but he threw it off like the second cast. So haven't used one in years. Uh, I know other people have used it, but I'm gonna try it out myself, see if I like it, see if I can catch some fish on it. This is actually a 25 pound leader. I decided to uh, go with a leader instead of straight braid just for extra stretch. And also when I'm working this on the top, it should be a clear presence and just look like the rat itself. Dude, this thing cast a mile. I was really worried with this lure that I wouldn't be able to cast it any anywhere because it seems on the lighter side. My initial impression is this is gonna take a minute to get used to and get a rhythm down for working. Man, precision, precision cast. I also really love this uh, loose speed spool and no, not a paid plug or anything like that. I've had this reel for like five or six years now and it's been good to me. So I'm already noticing that I'm gonna have to keep my rod tip pretty high to make this rat stay up in the air. Oh, you know what it is? I bet you he's filling up with water. Man, that's like the spro frogs. Let's see, check that out guys. He's not, it's not floating at all. Let's see if it's full of water or what. Oh, that's exactly what it is. This thing's gonna fill with water. You're gonna have to empty it out every once in a while, like spro frogs. I just wanna catch a fish on this guy today. All right, guys, so I got fish all around me right now. I don't know if they're moving around. I don't know what's going on. They just keep coming to the surface. I mean, in summertime, we do get some schooling patterns. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and try more like a reaction type bait. I'm <clears throat> hooked up, guys. There we go. First fish. Oh! Came off right at the bow. Well, he barely tapped this thing. So that's how you know that was a reaction bite. I got him on the pause. A little something's better than nothing, that's for sure. It's about 6.30 right now. We got two hours till sundown. Probably within the next 30, 40 minutes, we're really gonna start using that uh, that rat. See if we can't catch a couple more on this red-eye shad. He wasn't the biggest fish or anything. Probably about, oh, that's a good fish, guys. Dang. Stay down, oh. All right, by that flash, he wasn't a Mogan. Oh, there's more fish with him. Oh, that's crazy. Let's get him up. This might be one of the uh, those schooling bass that I was telling you guys about. Now, I'm not at this lake enough to know if they school a lot, but I'm just telling you in the summer, that's one of their patterns, is school up, feed on moving bait balls. Let's let this guy go, let him grow. Hey buddy, bye bye buddy. Let's go, two fish in. Just got out here. Looks like I found the right bait for right now. Let's catch a couple more on this guy. And then we'll switch over to that rat. Oh, oh my God. Oh, did you guys just see that? Oh. Oh man, this bass is insane. Guys, oh, he is so freaking active. Oh, not a bad fish either. Oh, he's active because I stuck him in the side, too. Talk about a freaking strike. I don't know if I got that on uh, GoPro, but this guy just came airborne. Shamu out of this lake. Actually, we'll go free willy. Like free willy. Oh, my gosh. That's the craziest bass I've ever caught. Bye bye, Willie. Shout out to Free Willie. If you saw Free Willie as a kid and you loved it, hit that like button, comment, let me know. I love me some Free Willie, boys. Casting with this rat is like a 10 out of 10 when it's filled with water. It's like a 7.5 out of 10 when it's not. This thing fills up with water all the time. Like every other cast, you gotta squeeze it out. I'm getting a right, right along these cattails, hitting them pretty good, I'm trying to walk the dog best I can in the wind. Still think it's a little early for top water, but I really want to catch something on this rat. So we're gonna we're gonna stay dedicated to it. Watch me just land a toad. Oh, there it is, underwater. You might as well be using a Mirrodyne Mini. Uh, my rat has to take a pee break every once in a while. <coughs> Dang, I just let water out of him and now he's sinking again. Now it's every cast he's filling up with water. I got one, Josh. On the rat, guys, I just turned my camera off and I made the perfect cast and I even, oh, he's barely hooked, barely hooked. Let's go, baby, let's go. Yes, sir. Got one on the rat. Boom, bada boom, bada bang, let's go. Got a nice hook set in him. Not a bad little fish. 
Dude, I just turned my camera off and I casted, made a really nice cast against the bank. He blew up, blew up on it too. Was he deep in there? Nah, he was probably three feet from the cattails. All right, guys, let's let him go, man. Yeah, he, dude, he blew up on it. Look how he's really healthy, though. Oh, you got your fish. <laughs> hey, you got a fish to catch him now. Wow. The rat lure might not be a gimmick after all. Now the spider, that's yet to be proven. Let's go, Joshy Poo. Get us one, son. Oh! That was a bass. Guys, Josh just missed one on his spider. All right, guys, so while I'm waiting for the sun to go down, I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my page. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you doing? You made it this far in my video. Hit that subscribe button to help a brother out. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers. We're about 89 subscribers away. But anyways, all you guys that have been subscribed to the page, if you're recently subscribed, welcome to the page. If you've been subscribed for a long time, I love you, I appreciate you. You guys are awesome. Hey, so I missed 4K for a giveaway. I dropped the ball on that. That's on me. What do you, so I'm leaving it up to you guys. Do you want me to do a 4,500 giveaway? Or do you want me to do a 5k giveaway? Whatever I see more down in the comments section below, that's what I'm gonna do. So make sure you let your opinion be known, comment down below. All right guys, so live target, field mouse. Is it a gimmick? Well, I don't know, I really don't. I mean, you're paying anywhere from eight to $12 for a lure that gets punctured holes in it, which makes it fill up with more water. It's supposed to be a top water lure and it it kind of sinks more than it actually stays on top. So I don't really know, you know, we did catch a fish on it. So you can use this mouse to target bass. Is it the easiest thing? No, maybe I need more experience with it, figure it out a little bit more, get a different rod. You know, a couple times I, I wanted to be using a, a spinning outfit for it just because I thought that it would be easier to keep on the top of the water. But anyways, I did catch a fish, so it may be a gimmick, may not. The one thing I will tell you, the casting is very inconsistent because it fills up with water. The more it fills up with water, the further it goes. Uh, when it's not filled up with water, it's a lot lighter. So it's definitely an interesting bait. Hey, do you guys want to see me do a challenge with Joshy Poo with the mouse versus the spider? I know he's really enthusiastic about that spider. He wants to do that challenge really bad. That spider is garbage. Well, he's, he's scared. Well, I'm gonna catch fish on it, I promise you. You're gonna catch it. He's determined. He is absolutely determined to catch fish on that spider. Hey, if you guys made it this far, subscribe to the page, please. It really helps me out. Hit that like button, because you know you love me. Comment down below, and go follow Josh, just because he didn't catch a fish today.